Yes. Hi, guys. How are you doing? Oh, my God. Clap it up for me. I'm in love with myself. Yes. Oh, my God. I'm so happy. I mean, like, I love all my shortcomings and everything like that. Like, I'm petty as hell. Uh, this is how petty I am. Me and my roommate are fighting right now. And when I left the house, I took the Amazon Fire Stick remote with me. I'm rude. <laughs> She's on the last episode of The Handmaid's Tale. She is pissed. <laughs> like, you will not know Alfred's fate until this fight is over. I'm also angry. That's fine. I'm a black female in America over 30. I earned it. <laughs> but it comes out when it shouldn't sometimes. Um, like, I was recently in D.C. at the American History Museum, which I thought going in was the Natural History Museum. So you can imagine my confusion. I was like, presidents ain't natural. <laughs> so I walked to the help desk. It's me and another female friend of mine. And there was a nice white guy there. He was jovial. And he was like, what can I help you ladies with? And I was like, we've never been here before. What should we see? And he was like, you two ladies should see the first ladies exhibit. Because that's what ladies like, right? Things about ladies. Rage. <laughs> I was pissed. I was like, what the bumbaclad BS? I'm not even Jamaican, okay? I switched cultures with my rage. And then fine, I was like, all right, whatever. I guess I got to go see this. So I went up there. And I saw Michelle Obama's first inaugural gown. And I was like, this is exactly what I wanted to see. <laughs> I was taking pictures with the dress. He knew I wanted to see some dresses, whatever. <laughs> I also know that um, I, I'm angry when angry and petty meet. That meet, that's something that I call panger. Um, for example, I, I don't like my little cousin because she owes me 30 bucks. <laughs> I know that's petty, but I lent her the money for alcohol, not for like a college application, you know? It's like, I'm gonna need that back. I'm a road comic, 30 bucks. That's three Lincoln tunnels off peak on an easy pass, all right, people? <laughs> So I let some time go by, sent her a text message. I was like, what's up with that 30? <laughs> her response was, um... She's 19, so she typed 95 Ms. <laughs> um, you need to get your life together if you're asking me about 30 bucks. <laughs> Rage, once again. <laughs> I didn't even see red, I saw fuchsia, okay? We're not in primary colors anymore. I was so bad. And the part that hurt me about it was that I was nine years old when she was born. Her mother was a teenager, and she used to leave her with me. And it's just like, girl, I could have killed you. <laughs> Had your life in my hands a myriad of times. Now you owe me 30 bucks. I don't know how to feel about that. Her mother was 17, so she'd come home yelling at me. Why'd you forget to change my baby? Probably because I'm not. <laughs> you know what else I forgot to do today? Wipe my own ass. <laughs> I'm nine years old. I wasn't, I wasn't thinking about changing babies. I was daydreaming about diving into a room full of gold coins because I was watching DuckTales. Life is like a hurricane. <laughs> Some 80s babies in the house. <laughs> and you're right, since we're talking about stuff I didn't do, you're right, I didn't change her, but I also didn't kill her. Why is nobody bringing that up? <laughs> you left a newborn with a nine-year-old for hours, she's still alive. I don't get no points for that, whatever. <laughs> and I did feed her. So we all know babies, right? Three things you gotta do with babies. Feed them, change them, don't kill them. Those are the three things you gotta do with babies. <laughs> I was nine years old, I was like, two out of three ain't bad for a nine-year-old. <laughs> Two out of three. Also, why you don't leave your newborn with a nine-year-old. I don't feel bad about that joke because I paid 30 bucks for it, all right? <laughs> My name is Joy Out. Thank you guys for listening to me.